Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a distance problem involving calculus. So, the problem is this, you, you have to find the distance between a curve and a point. And that curve is x squared minus 3x plus 2, and 3 comma negative 1. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, now notice you wanna be using the distance formula, right? Because um, you wanna find the distance, and you wanna either, you wanna minimize the distance between the point and the curve. Because if you have a curve, for example, this one's gonna be facing up. I don't know how it's exactly gonna be placed, but it's gonna be facing up it's actually like this. But it's going to be facing up and you have the point right here. Well, you have a variety of different points. The distance, by definition, is the shortest distance between the point and the curve. That's going to be the shortest distance. Because you have many distances, but the one that's going to be the smallest is what you're looking for. By definition, will be the distance. So you're trying to minimize the distance formula. So to do that, you're going to use the distance formula, or a variation of the distance formula. So you have the distance formula. Distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2 parentheses squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. But here it's going to be slightly different because you don't have a point, you have a curve. This right here can be described this way. If your x coordinate is just x, then this is your y coordinate. because it's varying, right? You don't know what point it is, but you know it's restricted by this. And it's restricted by this. This is x2, y2. <coughs> so then you just plug these in. So you have the square root. x1 is just x. So it's x parentheses minus 3 close parentheses squared, plus your y, 1 is this whole thing. So that is x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus a negative. So that's going to be plus 1 squared. Now, what I can do is I can kind of play a trick. What I'll do is I'll square both sides. I know I have to minimize this, but what I can do is I can minimize distance squared and not lose anything. So this x minus 3 squared plus and this simplified inside is x squared minus 3x plus 3 squared. Now to minimize it, I just simply take the derivative of it. Now I'll just label this s. So s, the derivative of this, I take the derivative of using the chain rule, the derivative of the, in, the outside, and I keep the inside the same, minus the derivative of the inside, which is just going to be 1. I do the same thing here. Take the derivative of the outside, x squared, with 2 in front, and then I take the derivative of the inside. The inside is going to be 2x 
minus 3. All right, so that's my prime. Erase this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be simplifying this. So I have, let me rewrite it. So it's s prime equals 2 parentheses x minus 3 plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 3, 2x minus 3. All right, so you always want to simplify this, so this is s prime. This is 2x minus 6 plus, let me do this first. So this is 2x cubed minus 3x squared. Then I just shoot the negative 3x, so it's negative 6x squared plus 9x, and then the 3, so it's plus 6x minus 9. And then you simplify that, so this is 2x minus 6 plus, let me do this first inside, so it's 2 parentheses 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 15x minus 9. Distribute the 2. So you have 2x minus 6 plus 4x cubed minus uh, 18x squared plus 30x minus 18. You simplify that further. So that will be 4x cubed minus 18x squared you're going to add the 2x here, plus this, 2x plus the 30x gives you 32x. And then negative 18 minus 18 gives you negative 24. <coughs> now the zeros are going to vary right because you have to set this equal to zero and you have 4x cubed minus 18x squared plus 32x minus 24. Now, I didn't intend this but what you can do to make things easier on yourself is you can use your graphing calculator by simply just typing it in to your calculator y equals you have y equals 4 x uh, to the fourth, well, to the third, sorry, to the third minus 18x squared plus 32x minus 24. You graph it, and it looks like there's, it's at 2. I'm going to trace it. Yeah, it has a zero at two. So it doesn't look like it's anywhere else. If I zoom out, yeah, it only appears that there's a zero at two. And so two so there's going to be a minimum at x 
equals 2. So then what you want to do is plug it back into here. So then you have your point is 2. And then let me clear this. And then you just plug it in. So it'll be 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 0 of the original. So that means that the closest point is from here to there. Now to find the distance is you just simply just use this and this. So then it is distance equals the square root because again you're trying to minimize the distance. You can also, I think about it, you can also use that original formula, the distance formula, but I erase it, so oops. All right, <laughs> so you have 2 minus 3 squared plus parentheses uh, y1, which is going to be 0, plus 1 squared. This is 1, right? It's negative 1, but that's being squared, so that's 1. So square root of 2 is the distance between this curve and the point. And that's it.